company making its return to Atlanta. Lime announcing today it's won a competitive permit process in the city. Our Trace and Bragg joining us and He's going to let us know all the details on this. How soon can this be a reality for folks, Tracen? Uh, Karen, today the company actually tells me they're actually in the process of delivering 15,000 e-scooters to the city. Now, this comes after the company cut ties with the city of Atlanta back in January of 2020. Lime told CBS 46 back then the decision was made in part due to regulatory concerns and financial declines after the city introduced a nighttime curfew on e-scooters after a number of deadly crashes. Lime says this time around to help riders stay safe, first-time riders will be capped at 10 miles per hour in the company's training mode feature. Veteran riders will also have the choice to ride in training mode if they choose. And if you're concerned about riders acting badly, there's a plan for that too. We're going to be rolling out um, you know, discount incentives for folks that, that park in preferred parking locations and really just a, a whole host of other product initiatives to really try to shape and, and formulate good rider behavior. If those things don't work, then, then we also uh, will have a system uh, to be able to penalize and, and gradually, um, you know, escalate if, if for repeat offenders and, and remove them from the platform if necessary. Shaw adds later this month, the company will add 500 e-bikes to its Atlanta fleet. Karen? All right, well, good news for folks. Today,